Jesus. Somebody want to be rescued on tonight, and it's okay. Hallelujah, Jesus. Somebody don't want to be in this same state of mind that they're in. God is telling you it's okay. Let your response be hallelujah. You're my redeemer, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I'm so glad. Troubles on us don't I'm so glad. Troubles on us don't I'm so glad. Oh, 
He said, my mom always didn't look at the bad, and she always spoke goodness. And now he's a preacher. I tell you, you talking about a real preacher. That young man was preaching nothing but Jesus. I tell you, he said, now what you got to do? Take that name out and get your name in there because you hold you up from sin, from, you know, being up there. Boy, I tell you, I didn't go over there. And uh, Michelle, you should have been there. That little uh, Alabama girl, man, that girl, she showed up, tore it up. You talking about song? I got it on my phone, but she tore it up. She summed up something. I just think, uh, y'all little boys, you gotta pray for me, man. You know, that I'm in on the chain to see Jesus. I'm not just talking so much, I'm going to do it. Because he done brought me out of too much. He done brought me out of the grave, brought me out of sin, brought me out of whole hobbies. He done, it's too much that I didn't even stand here and say. But I tell any young person, woman, man, who it is, if you ever want it to change, let it change now. And I tell you, I thank God to know. Thank you, Lord, for this service. I thank God for our pastor. I've been here on my own, you know, almost 36 years old. 64 years old, still playing. And I tell you, I want to live and get a hundred if it's God's will. Whatever His will is, that's what I want. Because I just want to do what God said. Y'all know the word of pray for me. If you don't know how to pray for me, there's a Lord, save you, brother. Yeah. Thank you. 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 service and the time we're speaking.
to glory, amen. We come down in this place, Lord. God, that your anointing, Lord God, will destroy every yoke, Lord. And God, every stronghold, Lord God, every hindrance, Lord God, that is not of you, Lord God, we pray, oh God. God, that you, Lord God, will cast it, Lord God, back to the sea, Lord God. Lord God, and bind it and blind it, Lord God. God, that we can, Lord God, go on, Lord God, and do the will of you, Lord. And we pray, God, that you forgive us of all of our sins, Lord. God, we pray, God, Lord God, that you will, Lord God, be down here in this service, Lord. God, we pray, God, that you will save, set free, Lord God, and deliver. And God, meet the needs of your people, Lord. God, we pray, God, that these special blessings be offered in your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 You can have a seat. Amen. Certainly God is good. Amen. Amen. We serve a wonderful and an on-time God. Amen. He said in his word that he lived the I am. Amen. Everything, amen, that we need it to be, amen. He is just that, amen. No unturned stones, amen. Hallelujah, if you brought your Bibles with you, amen. Turn with me to the book of Kings, 1 Kings, and the 13th verse. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Y'all bear with me. My nerves have been bugging all day. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. I, ain't, I ain't had no appetite or nothing. Amen. Amen. Oh, good. Yeah. Jesus, get me Jesus. Yeah. Amen. If you got to say amen, if you don't say hold on, black man. The 13th verse, no, 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 the 13th chapter of First Kings. First Kings, the 13th chapter. And we're going to start reading at the first verse. Everybody got it? Amen. And behold, a man of God came out of Judah by the word of the Lord to Bethel. Jeroboam was standing by the altar to make offerings, and the man cried against the altar by the word of the Lord, and said, O altar, altar, thus says the Lord, behold, a son shall be born to the house of David, Josiah by name, and he shall sacrifice on you, the priests of high places who make offerings on you, and human bones shall be burned on you. And he gave a sign the same day, saying, This is the sign that the Lord has spoken. Behold, the altar shall be torn down, and the ashes that are on it shall be poured out. And when the king heard the sayings of the man of God, which he cried against the altar at Bethel, Jeroboam stretched out his hand from the altar, saying, Seize him. And his hand, which he stretched out against him, dried up, so that he could not draw it back to himself. Look at your neighbor and say, touch not. Look at your other neighbor and say, the anointing. The anointing. Hallelujah. Amen. Here we got Jeroboam, amen. It, it has been put in power. And Jeroboam was, let's, let's Back to how we get to this place of the man of God having to come and, and, and cry out against the altar. Jeroboam had received ten tribes from King Solomon previously. Amen. 
And King Solomon, the Lord took these tribes from King Solomon because in King Solomon's old age, he began to let the women turn him away from, amen, his God. Amen. And God had them came and visited him maybe twice, twice I believe the Bible says it, twice. And concerning these things, letting them know, amen, that this was, amen, sin. Amen. And he was not pleased with the wickedness. And due to that, he was going to strip Solomon of these tribes. Amen. And at this point, Solomon, Jeroboam is one of Solomon's chief servants. God prophesied to Solomon, let him know that he was going to strip the, the tribe from him, let him know, amen, who he was going to give him to, and let him know who, why he was going to give it to him, and, and all this good stuff, amen, and, and let him know he wasn't that, he was going to even wait till he died, amen. So he waited until, amen, after King Solomon died, amen, and in the midst, you know, before he died, the, Lord began to stir up adversaries, amen, here and there that was causing conflict, amen, and it ran Jeroboam off, amen, yeah, yeah. he's going on in Egypt at this moment, yeah. now that Solomon has died, and traditionally, you know, when a king died, the son inherits the kingdom, All right. amen, yeah. King Solomon's son was named Rehoboam, yeah. Amen. amen. This guy, amen, wouldn't take counsel from the elders. The elders had gave him a, a good word of advice, letting him know that, amen, if you treat these people better than your dad, amen, they would serve you. And they will become your people. Amen. But instead of Rehoboam doing that, amen, he, he made their yoke. Harder. Amen. When he made a young harder, they rebelled. We're talking about the church of Israel. Amen. They rebelled against him. Amen. And they sent for Jeroboam. And they made him, amen, their king. It's already been prophesied. Amen. Jeroboam already know what was going on. Amen. Now that he has the king. Amen. He Fear has gripped his heart. He is afraid that the children of Israel is going to go back down to the house of David. Amen? Amen. And in order for him to keep the people in the city of Bethel, he began to build golden calves for them to worship. Now this is just the same thing that the Lord this is how you inherited this kingdom. Amen. The Lord stripped it from Solomon because of his wickedness, his idolatry. And now, and he knows it was prophesied to him. Now, he has let fear grip his heart and he is doing the same thing. And not only Solomon was, was just worshiping, but Jer Jeroboam has built gold for chaos. Now, this has Angered the Lord. So now we at this point, what well, we just read about the Lord sending a man of God to prophesy and cry out on the city of Bethel, and Jeroboam the king don't like it. And, and just because he the king, amen, he tell his army to seize this man of God. And when he tell him that, his arm dries up. Amen? The word of God tells us, amen, that touch not thine anointing and do my prophets no harm. Amen? Then this is a perfect example of the good Lord showing us that he will take care of us just like he said he would. Amen. This is the king. He supposedly had all the power. Amen. He is over this land. 
Oh, he don't want to. He don't want to obey the, 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 the man of God. But not so. Kings, judges, presidents. It don't matter who you is. You got to come to the to the anointing. Amen. Amen. And and, and anointing. Amen. Preachers, prophets. Amen. They, you know, he God just didn't say that he would take care of those people that kind of way. He also said to about his little children that offenses will come. But woe to them by the offenses with whoever offended you. Amen. And he also said that it is better for you to tie a millstone around your neck and cast yourself in the midst of the sea than to offend one of his little ones. Amen. Now that covered everybody from the little children to the big children. Amen. That lets us know that God will take care of us if we are in Christ Jesus. Amen. But we don't have to worry. Amen. We ain't got to fret. Amen. On what the enemy will do. The only thing we have to do is do what the Lord tells us to do. Amen. Only that find ourselves in obedience. Amen. This is exactly what God promised Jeroboam. He have no, he didn't have to do nothing but keep his keep his commandments. But you know, sometimes you know we the same way, amen. We all time, we always want to try to get in there and go to putting our black pepper salt in there. Instead of letting the good Lord stir this thing up. Amen. 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 And when we, when we get in there, we're going to mess it up. Amen. amen. We caused more trouble. Amen. Than it was even worth. I'm talking about God don't gave it to him. God ain't never promised nobody nothing that took your body. Amen. amen. So when he promised us something, all we got to do is just stand on the promise. Amen. Be obedient. Amen. Walk certain faithfully to the word. Amen. Don't be contrary. Amen. Amen. Obedience is going to be the key. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Let's read on. The altar was torn down and the ashes poured out. We had verse 5. And the ashes were poured out from the altar according to the sign that the man of God had given by the word of the Lord. And the king said to the man of God, Entreat now the favor of the Lord your God and pray for me that my hand may be restored. Look at the end. <laughs> Big night. <laughs> he was tough. Amen. But he don't, now he don't realize what he don't come in contact with. Amen. Now this man got some power. Amen. I'm going to ask him for his favor. Amen. The favor that he got from his God. Pray for me. Huh? That's just like the enemy, amen, that, that we run upon. These same people that think they, get, they misuse us and get away with it. They ain't getting away. Amen. For the word of God says, touch not. Hello? And do my prophets no harm. Ain't nobody getting away. So it, it don't matter. And it don't matter. Now this king that lets you know he's in authority. That, that it don't let it don't matter who you is. You've got to respect the anointing. Amen. 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 So you know, I find myself nowadays. Somebody bullied me. You don't know what you don't need. I'm just talking to myself. I don't say nothing. You, know, you don't know what you did. You just touched it. Did I, the Lord loved me. You know, he don't play about me. You know what I mean? That's the way I talk. You got to be. You got to be bold. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I say, you know, you just that's just in, in faith. Amen. Knowing that your God is going to supply, going to take care. of Amen. And I've seen this stuff. How many of y'all have seen it unfold? Amen. Somebody that just do you any kind of, just talk to you any kind of way. Amen. Just because they might got a little money. 
Amen. They might got their in power or something other. You know, police, you know what I'm saying? Judges. Amen. But they they not but they don't realize it's the anointing that you don't mess up. No, put your mouth on it. Touch not. Amen. Let's read on. And And a man of God come home and a, no, 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 let's go back. And a man of God entreated to the Lord, the king's hand was restored. His, his hand was restored. That's power, church. Amen. This man of God, go to God for this man. Amen. And he does just what he said. Amen. That's the kind of power that we have. Amen. And the king said, to the man of God, come home with me and refresh yourself, and I will give you a reward. And the man of God said to the king, if you give me half your house, I will not go with you. And I will not eat bread or drink water in this place, for so was it. Hold on, let me, let me slow down. And I will not eat bread or drink water in this place. For so was it commanded me by the word of the Lord, saying, You shall neither eat bread, nor drink water, nor return by the same way that you came. So he went another way and did not return by the way that he came. Amen. That, that, that's a confirmation, amen, a part of what brought Brother Jeff be telling us, amen, in his final saying. You can't go anywhere. Hallelujah. He just talk, he, he talk, he's sending him to prophesy. And he's going to eat, don't drink, don't go in, you, and don't even go by the same way. Why do you think he told him that? He's going to get polluted. Amen. Evil communication, evil company corrupt. Good manners. He don't want to hang. He didn't want to hang around with. Him. Amen. Amen. Let's read on. Now an old prophet lived in Bethel, and his sons came and told him all that the man of God had done that that day in Bethel. They also told to their father the word that he had spoken to the king. And that father said unto him, which way did he go? And his son showed him the way that the man of God who came from Judah had gone. And he said to his son, saddle the donkey for me. So, he, so they saddled the donkey for him, and he mounted it. And he went after the man of God and found him sitting under an oak. And he said to him, are you the man of God who came from Judah? And he said, I am. Then he said to him, come home with me and eat bread. And he said, I may not return with you or go in with you. Neither will I eat bread nor drink water with you in this place. For it was said to me by the word of the Lord, you shall neither eat bread nor drink water there, nor return by the way that you come. And he said to him, I also am a prophet, as you are. And an angel spoke to me by the word of the Lord, saying, Bring him back with you into your house, that he may eat bread and drink water. But he lied. Hallelujah. This old prophet them got caught up in what the Lord was trying to help this new prophet not do. Evidently the Lord had to warn himself the time to get out of him. He's an old prophet. Amen. And hanging around in idolatry he has lost his anointing. That's exactly what happened. Brother Jeff can't go anywhere. Can't do anything. Can't say anything. But just can't go anywhere. 
hanging around in places, amen, that we don't got no business hanging around, we are in danger of losing our anointing. That go from the preacher, amen, down to the members. Amen. It is accountability in this race. Amen. This old prophet, and I believe, and not say believe, but I know, the word tells us that if any man or an angel come to us and is saying anything except for what God said, let him be a curse. So that let us know that an angel's word would never supersede the word of God. So whatever God has told you, that's what you need to be doing. Amen. If somebody's going to whisper in your ear, talk about an angel, you tell him you, you, you know another angel. And he was transformed into the angel of light. Amen. And he also whispers in my ear. Amen. And you got to be careful if that ain't the one that's talking. Amen. An angel came to him. The man of God should have knew better. Amen. Now he got somebody that's so much on his level, he want to listen. After he has been warned, this, this did not take God by surprise because he warned him. And, not, and, and, and it's strange. He warns him and he gets tried like this twice. So God knew that this was coming. Amen. Amen. Did not catch him by surprise. He warned him. But now he want to listen. He, this man, only, he's an old prophet. He should know the word. That's what we got to do. Amen. That's the only thing that the devil recognized is the word of God. When he said that, he should have put the word on. Not so. Come on now. That's not what the Lord told me. That's right. Amen. Amen. And I know without a shadow of a doubt that he said it. Because he said it more than one time. Amen. 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 Touch not that I'm Lord. Amen. Amen. Do my prophets no more. Yeah. Stay with in obedience. Yeah. And don't listen to any angel that don't line up with the word of God. Right. Amen. Amen. Let's read on. They also hold on. And he said, I may not return because of the man of God. I, 19. 18. 19. 19. I am, let's, let's do it like this. I also, that's right, am a prophet. You are, and as you are, and an angel spoke to me by the word of the Lord, saying, Bring him back with you unto your house and he may eat bread and drink water but he lied so he went back with him and ate bread at his house and drunk water and as they sat at the table the word of the Lord came to the prophet who had brought him back and he cried to the man of God who came from Judah Thus says the Lord, because you have disobeyed the word of the Lord and have not kept the command that the Lord your God commanded you, but have come back and have eaten bread and drunk water in the place of which he said to you, eat no bread and drink no water, your body shall not come. To the tomb of your fathers. 
The Spirit of the Lord done fell on the old prophet, and now he's prophesying what the man of God had already been told. Now he's telling the truth. Amen. It's something about when the Spirit of God moves. Amen. It tells the truth. Amen. Something is going to happen. Amen. It's going to expose. It's going to deliver. Amen. Set free. Amen. It's something is going to happen when the Spirit of God moves. Amen. 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 Now, we got a young prophet that done been prophesied by the old prophet. <laughs> And he told him just what the Lord had said. Can you imagine what that man going through right now? At, at that moment. Now that is what the Lord said. Amen. And he won't be buried into his father's tomb. Amen. Kind of like symbolic to me. Amen. That. Death ain't gonna be ain't, ain't gonna be nice for him. Amen. Cause of obedience. Amen. He done went from being obedient and God taking care of him. Amen. Showing his power into being disobedient to now bringing wrath on himself. Amen. Amen. The anointing. Can be lost. Amen. 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 We can't hang out in any kind of in any place. That's right. We can't go in place. That's right. Amen. Amen. We can't say anything. Amen. 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 Our reactions, amen, got to be holding our integrity. We got to have holy integrity. Amen. Amen. All this stuff falls on the Obedience. Yeah. And disobedience has cost us his reward. He wants a reward from man and not from the Lord. Amen. We can't be so quick <laughs> just because no shade, you know, in here. I don't know who to call him. I don't call him name. <laughs> But just because a person come to us, amen, and they got this, this, this holy look, amen, they, they got the form of God, amen, but don't got no power. We, we can't listen to anything, amen. If it's good, you can eat it. If it ain't, you throw it away. But we got to know the difference between when an angel is talking to us and when God is talking. We got to obey the word of God. Because listening to an angel will get you in trouble just like it done got this young man. I have absolutely found favor in the Lord. But he finds himself in disobedience. Yeah. I want to tell you how he must stop under the oak tree. Amen. Amen. He might have should have kept going. Amen. 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 Let's, let's read it up for it. And, and after he had eaten bread and drunk, he sat on the donkey for the prophet whom he had brought back. And as he went, a lion met him on the road and killed him. See, there it is. Destruction. Warning. Come before destruction. Amen. We all been warned. Amen. We all, we, every, God only don't send no situation to us by surprise. He ain't that kind of God. Amen. He concerned about us. Amen. If he sent us, amen, he 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 equipped. Amen. He has prepared the way. So the only thing we have to do is just fall in that line of what 
God said and not what the angel said. Amen? Amen. So here it is, church goes. As, as I close, it is essential that obedience is our first train of thought. Amen. Amen. It, all through the Bible, disobedience is what has caused the people. Amen. Disobedience is what's costing us now. Amen. 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 God say no, we say yeah. <laughs> Amen. We got our own agendas now. That's right. Amen. That's right. I'm guilty. Amen. The love, amen, that, 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 the hunger and the thirst, amen, it just ain't there. Because of, we ain't being obedient. God talking, but we listening to the angel. Hallelujah. That's what's going on. We listening to the angel and not God. And, we, and that angel that we listen to is the one that will transform into life. Amen. That's the one we're listening to. And he come to kill, steal, and destroy. Amen. That's exactly what that's gonna happen to this young prophet. He don't got he don't he don't fell into the hand of the devourer for being disobedient. I'm talking about at the beginning, you're talking about favor, praying for a man, and, and his hand draws back out. Now you're being killed for disobedience. That is really a, a thin line. Hello? Man, that quick. That's just how happened. That's just how quick we can lose our lives. Amen. Now God, now God will turn us over into the line. Amen. You know, but that line is no power, amen, to, to the power of God. Amen. I believe Samson ran up on a line, amen, and, and the Bible says the, the Spirit of God moved on him and he ripped him like a bat with his bow hand. So this the same situation would have happened with this line if he ever found himself in the disobedience. I mean in obedience. Right. Amen? amen. But disobedience, the line took him out. And the line just killed him. He didn't even eat it. Waited, waited on, waited on the uh, the old prophet to come back and get him. Bread. Didn't eat the don't kill nothing. What did he do? He killed nothing about it. Just one of them. Ain't nothing done. Yeah. Don't kill nothing about it. He just one of them. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. He come to kill, steal, and destroy. Yeah. He don't kill nothing about it. He want to wreck, he, 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 his job, amen, is to get men of us to go to hell with him. So, and, and we don't hear about hell. Hell ain't going to break up your son. What do you want to go? Go. Amen. amen? So we got to find ourselves in obedience so we can miss out on this horrible, because I mean, it, that was just a horrible, can you imagine him being a man of God and he done jumped on this donkey and he headed on his way and a lion just jumped out and killed him. And somebody after being obedient to the Lord, after doing what the Lord told you to do, and then you go and do not what the Lord told That's you right. to do. Yes. This ain't a halfway walk. Right. Amen? You got to do the whole hunt. Come on now. Amen? Come on. Can't stay right there. You can't get down to 50% of it and, and, and then think we done made it. That's right. No, we got to complete this journey. Yeah. And it got to be completed in obedience. Yeah. Amen? Amen. So, don't, so we won't be killed by the lion. Kill, steal, and destroy. Divide. That's his job. And in this case, he succeeded. Amen? But we ain't going to let him do that in the church, though. We're going to stay under the anointing, amen? Because the anointing is, is, is see, it is far too great. Amen? amen? With the anointing, we have a refuge in Jesus. Amen? amen? We, have a, we have somebody that will fight for us. 
Amen. So when the enemy do come up against us, the spirit of the Lord always lifts up a spirit. Amen. Amen. That's walking in obedience. Amen. I never want to find be found in obedience. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I do too. Amen. I mean, disobedience right now, it, it, it don't even really need to be existing. It needs to be so surreal right now. I mean, you know, as I was coming up, you always heard that this world is coming to an end in the 80s. I was hearing it in the 80s. Now it's 2021, and I'm talking about more, and, and, and what made me prompt that in the 80s to think that it was maybe coming to, I think around that time, it just started to talk about the 80s. Amen? My mom had to make me read Revelation, they had to shake me up a little bit, people out so bad. You know? <laughs> so I had to read about all, them, them, all the stuff that was to come. You know, when the age hit the scene, I'm like, oh, man. <laughs> hey, man, this might be the end time. Hey, Amen. But now you got some, you got, we got far more stuff out there. And I'm talking about the devil is just, I'm talking about just taking the word of God and just twisting it all up. I'm talking about making wrong right. That's right. Making it, I'm talking about going and changing the Constitution. Amen. Amen. To please the world. That's right. 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 Listening to angels and not God. Yeah. We can't be listening to God like that. That's right. Because ain't no way in the world we would do so much stuff that we do. That's right. Amen. We listening to the angels. That's right. Amen. The church don't not like it. Like you say, as I go, let's be obedient. Amen. Amen. Because obedience, amen, you can walk when you ain't obedient. Touch not. Yes. Hello? Amen. That's why I, I like that. Touch not. I like, I like to know that God is going to take care of me. Amen. 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 In the midst of anything that I do, because you know that, you, but it got to, you got to be in obedience. That's right. Amen. It's assurance. Amen. Who don't want that assurance? That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want it. Amen. Let's stand to our feet. We're going to go to the Lord. We're going to pray. Amen. As a whole, amen. That God, amen, would open our eyes, amen, that we don't be deceived by the enemy because he, amen, he's very deceptional, amen. By your hand, God, we come to you, God. God, we say thank you, God, we pray, oh God. God, that you would help us, Lord God, live a life, God, that's pleasing unto you. God, you help us, oh God, to be in right standing with you. God, you help us not to lean to our own understanding, God, but in not in all of our ways. God, you help us, Lord God, to be found in obedience, Lord. God, you help us, oh God, not to look to the left nor to the right, Lord. God, you help us to stay on straight in the narrow. And God, we pray, God, that your anointing, Lord, God, will destroy every yoke, Lord. And God, we pray, God, that you will continue, Lord, God, to follow us. As we turn in your Lord, God, you will God, you have a Lord, God, to distinguish between, Lord, God, your word, your voice, and the angel, Lord. God, we want to be obedient to you, Lord. God, we don't want to be found, Lord God, in a place, God. God, that we can't hear from you. And God, we pray, God, God, that you will send your Lord God, your Holy Ghost, Lord. God, that you will pour out your spirit upon all the people, Lord. God, that we can rest, Lord God, in you, Lord. God, you help us, Lord God, to lay aside every weight and sin that we have to because, God, we don't want to be found, Lord God, in disobedience, Lord. And, 
God, we ask God and you bless the blessing in your name. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.